Bay. And making my way up here off towards the site so it doesn't take too long it's not far away I say make a through path man be far easier checking at the bottom end you know what I mean jobs are good but I don't make the rules so onwards Mostyn when I was last up this way I spotted this little alcove and I thought to myself clean it up a little bit I reckon I could do a, uh, a stealth night camp in there so I do at some point plan to come back and do that so I figured I'll show you the brief glimpse of the area like I say I could do with a bit of a clean up but yeah in all I reckon that's doable just nipped into the shop to pick up some uh, <laughs> holiday essentials man so uh, good to go now I'm still yet to see the place that I'm stopping in and I uh, might give you a quick scan around the place as well. I have landed. The eagle has taken a shit. I'm not sure if they've opened or not yet, but there was meant to be. Yeah. This chopstick thing over here. Hopefully they have. Hi. Hey. How are you? So say hello, man. Hello, how are you? My name Good, is man. How cool is that? <laughs> nice one, excellent, thank, thank, you. thank you. See you later. Oh, honestly dude, that man's an absolute legend, man. He's brilliant, bud. Doesn't say a lot, but what he does, he says all that's needed. Oh, that was brilliant. The crows have quickly become one of my favourite things to chill out and watch when I'm here. So it's nice to see them. So bad. Cool. Uh -huh. Give you a quick look outside before I draw the curtains. Yeah, man. Pretty decent. Nice one. Oh. Step one. Cool the goodies. You know what's in yourself yet. Just notice the light. Okay. Cool. We have ignition. So if we start with this room. Okay. So this is the single twin room. In case you've got twins and they're single. It's not so bad. Look, floral, lovely. So yeah, that's that room. I'm guessing this must be the other bedroom. Here it is. Nice. So, this will be my boudoir. Hi! Again, tremendous view. At the same place, just from a different window. Lastly, this here must be the bathroom. There's the switch on the inside. Or the outside. It's on the outside. Oh my god, it's me again. So, we've got your bog standard sink. We've got your bog standard bog. Bog standard bog roll. And a shower. Seems decent, actually. A bit of space in there. And uh, I do need to make use of it. <laughs> my hair is greasier than a battered sausage from a chippy. Well, that's about all there is to that, really, isn't it? Have a sit on the shitter. Yeah, plenty of leg space. Reach around. <laughs> Not that kind of reach around. Get your loo roll, do your business, flush the chain. Nice one, jobs are good. There's the flush. 
<laughs> so yeah, you know, oh, not too shabby. I'll take it back in here for now. There's a few things in here I bought along and I'm not showing you guys yet. So I figured whilst this way it might be a good opportunity to make use of and try them out. But before we get to any of that, first of all, we gotta say hello Moo. Hello Moo. She's been all cooped up on the train in the bag of there, isn't you man? But I did recently give her a once over, so she's at least nice and clean again, which is more than we could say for uh, me, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, hey, uh, you were all the day also, so we'll sit you there for the now. Oh, I've got me shades. Although it's meant to be pissing down tomorrow, so I doubt I'll be making use of them. <sighs> I'll spare you the details of unpacking all this lot anyway but I shall do so and then uh, catch up with you shortly so peace for the now hey to the cow fade out I've uh, more or less settled in now put things where I need them or want them to be my friend Sam for quite some time now has been trying to get me to watch a movie um, which I have promised I would do. So I thought, knowing that these televisions have got DVD player, I'd bring it along with me. So, excuse the state of the DVD case, I think I must have spilled coffee on it on a mad one or something. But there, Sam. I, tonight, will be watching Seven. So you can now ease out and stop telling me what's in the box before I've gotten a chance to watch what's in the box. I was recently watching a guy on YouTube and he was doing a um, canoe trip through the Great uh, Lakes of Canada and whilst doing so he was reading a book and one of the pages he turned uh, I read it and it appealed to me so I was like well something's telling me to get a copy of it so I did and so um, I've only started like the beginning of it but that's uh, my latest venture, so it's Edward Abbey's Desert Solitaire, A Season in the Wilderness. So as it says, a celebration of the beauty of living in harsh and hostile lands. Well, that's just like earth all over, isn't it, right now, mate? Fucking seagull. When I last came, I uh, picked up a pair of swimming shorts, and when I actually tried them on, the issue I found is that, um, well, they were a little bit tight. You sit down and everything basically just dies on itself. It's like... Ugh! So, I picked up a new pair. And I wondered what you all thought of them. <laughs> I've tried them on. They do fit better. And uh, far more comfortable as well. So, I figured, with it being so stuffy, I might pop them on shortly. <laughs> but I also got a little surprise to go along with them. So, I shall... For the now, just show you this, and then uh, once I've changed, I can show you the full extent. Then, can I? <laughs> I'll show you this picture in a moment, man. That's brilliant. <laughs> can anybody tell me what that says? That's bloody brilliant. <laughs> oh, that shouldn't have amused me as much as it did. <laughs> Might have one of them beers or a glass of wine. Put the TV on and see if anything's happening. Set this DVD up for a little while later and see what the runtime of it is so I'm not up too, too late. Um, and then, yeah, just mong out, really. He's getting drunk, Marjorie. Oh, it can only lead to bad things. Shut up. Absolute slabaganza, man. I do have another things still to turn up but this has come before end so I figured I'd give you a quick brief on this Fanta Orange considering I'm going to be having a drink in a moment I should put that in the fridge for now got the bees portion of fries and an absolute slab of meat 
That's where it's at, man. You guys don't want to see me chomping. So what I shall do is eat some. Catch you in a moment. Pour myself a glass of wine. Cheers all. Yeah, I'm going steady. Don't fucking worry about me. I got a portion of the chicken wings. This was served to me by a dude I'd seen when I was up by the carts earlier. And he's all like, look the ponto, man. Hope you have a good day, yeah? And all that. Off he goes. So he's the guy that brings me this. And then the other guy, Tudor, that I caught on camera earlier on, he brings me the chicken. So it's like, boom, man. Brilliant. Got to catch the guy twice in the same day, so mega happy about that. Well, I'm informed it's a no-smoking vicinity. So you went seen me, right? It's when you awkwardly realise that your window's what, a matter of about four feet away from you. And you wonder what nutters are outside thinking you're an absolute nutter in here. Sam, is it her head that's in the box? Because Morgan Freeman's looking at her head, while Brad Pitt's looking at him, all concerned like her head's in a box or something. Ooh, I'm looking forward to that. First day on holiday, what do you want to watch? Oh, let's watch Seven. Uh, <laughs> but I'm looking forward to watching the whole film as a thing and going, ooh, oh, now that bit connects and makes sense, Deirdre. Ooh, marvellous. <laughs> I'm going to lay into this meat, munch, wine and chomp, get that all sent to and sorted and gone. Uh, but as promised, I'm going to slip into something a little more comfortable. Is this not just the greatest on my holiday t-shirt ever, man? Completely not my norm, but I thought, you know what? I saw it, I liked it, I got it. And I'm gonna wear it. Fucking yeah. <laughs> right, anyway, that's enough for me playing with my boobs. So there's a um, towel rail that I spotted in the bathroom that happens to be on, and I'm not sure how to turn it off. So I shall um, keep an eye out on that because I don't know if it came on when I had the shower extractor on. Or not. I meant to be on holiday, enjoying myself, playing with me moves, jumping some fucking munch, man. Instead, I'm concerning myself with a tower rail that's too hot. You need to lighten up, mate. You need to chill the fuck out. I found that, which leads me to assume. It's probably going to be for this. So, flip that off and test the theory. If not, I guess we'll have to figure a plan B. Anyway, I've jumped some of my lunch and I need to let one go. So, it's time for me to feed the, uh, the sewer children. Get the fuck out of here. Thought I told you to get the fuck out of here. Go on, Peter. Doesn't feel right if I didn't come in and give the bed a once over test. So, let's see how comfortable this is. Oh. <laughs> actually not too bad that's quite soft nice want to join me <laughs> <laughs> for all you dirty home, home movie enthusiasts <laughs> anyway that's enough of that man. let's get out of here I just wanted to see what it felt like feels like a bed really surprisingly well that's enough of all of that anyway I'm uh, gonna chop my chicken See to a few bits I want to do before I think winding down and uh, putting that movie on. So 
I'll give you my thoughts on it. And uh, yeah, get back to you in a bit. Peace. <laughs>